Hi guys, good morning. In this video, we are going to see the problem optimal partitions of a string. And oh god, although it's a very, very, very easy problem, but still in this video, you're, you're going to see three approaches for this problem. And the last one will just blow your mind. Because you would never think, okay, it can also be applied here. But yeah, let's see this. Firstly, let's see the problem statement. Uh, it is saying that we are given a string S. We need to partition the string into one or more substrings. Substrings are just continuous part of a string such that the characters in each substrings are unique, which means that in that substrings, no character should be repeating. Cool. And it says the same thing. No, it should, it should not be repeating. Return the minimum number of substrings in such a partition, which means we have to partition it, partition the, partition the main string into such number of substrings that number of substrings are as low as possible, which means I just wanted as minimum partitions as minimum substrings as possible. So I have this string. I want minimum number of substrings. So I will try to maximize the substring, right? Because I just want, okay, substrings should be as well as possible. And for sure, a substring is just continuous. So for sure, one substring, the first substring, it will start from the starting itself. And I want to minimize the number of substrings. So what I will do is, I will try to maximize this first substring as far as I can. Okay, it can be up till here. No worries, one is done. Then again, I'll just start for the next one. I'll try to also maximize the same. I'm just again, I'm just again. I'll do okay. It can go up till here only. Then next one. I'll just try to as I'll I'll try to maximize the substring length as much as I can. I'm so that ultimately I'll just get the least number of substrings. And yeah. As we saw the question, we just indirectly went to the answer. We have to do the same thing. Minimize. The number of substrings just try to stretch out every substring possible i start from here see i if let's say for this in this in this example i start from a cool a very good i'll just try to maximize whatsoever i can whatsoever i can have i just i, I just try to go on go on go on until i have to put a partition okay a super good nothing to worry about then b came a and B, no worries at all. Again, A came. A, B, A. I started from A. Now, again, A came. But it is saying that um, number of partitions, which means number of characters should be unique. Again, A came. Now, it's a worry. I have to put a partition. I have to put. Although, I wanted to maximize this length. But now, I have to put. Okay. I have put it. Now, again, now my... It is no more useful for me. One partition is gone. Now again, the partition starts from this A. Now A and C came. C, that's a different character. No worries at all. Again, A came. <sighs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Again, A has come. It is here. I have to again put a partition. Although I want to maximize this. But I have to stop. I have to put a partition. I put a partition and I again just go on. A, B. Then B. Cool, no worries, A, B, no worries. Again, A came. Again, I have to put a partition. I just wanted to maximize it, but again, I have to put a partition. So, it is just gone. And so, as you can see, that number of partitions we got is three. So, number of substrings, I just tried to minimize the number of substrings. It is that I had to put a partition. It is four substrings or three partitions, right? Now, it's exactly the same thing. What we thought, how we went through this particular thing. Now, it is the same thing which we have to implement. I'll just start from the starting. I'll just start from the starting. And as soon as I get a character which is repeating, I just put a partition there, which means I just increase my count of number of substring or partition by one. And again, I have to reset my that hash set or an unordered map because See, I have to store the frequency. My A had a frequency 1, my B had a frequency 1. As soon as, as soon as I again got a A, which means my frequency has increased. It should be 1, I said. It should be unique, right? So as soon as it increased, ooh, I have got another A. So I have to put a partition. I have to again reset because again now the new string will start from A itself. So I have to reset that particular data structure we can have set array, hash set, anything. 
I have to again reset that data structure and again go on from that. Again, I got another A, which means here the frequency would have again got one. It's one. Then again, it was trying to be two, but then I said, okay, it can't. It can be only one, and that's the only thing. That what we can do is is just now implementing how you implement the same logic in different ways. So as I said, we need to store the frequency. So or if we can, if we can use an unordered map, we can use a unordered set, we can use a hash set, anything we can use. So here we just use an unordered set to actually store to actually know. Okay, if that element has occurred previously or not, hash set in Java. If it it has occurred, which means I have to have to put a partition there. If it is not, I'm very good to go. Just go on, just go on, just go on. Same thing. I have this unordered set. Then I have this count. Count is just the number of substrings so far. So far it's just one substring. At every partition, number of substrings will increase by one, right? So it is the same thing because I wanted to return the number of substrings. Is the reason I have this count rather than number of partitions. If we, if you choose number of partitions, you will start from zero and ultimately in the end you have to return partitions plus one because. Eight n partitions will have n plus one substrings. Cool. Uh, I have this count of number of uh, substrings. Then I just go on to every of that character from the starting. If 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 it is not in my set, I say okay. I just increase it. But if it is in my set, which means my find is not equal to n. If it is my it it is in my set, which means I just landed on this a b a. My A, I landed on A, but my A is already in the set, which means it is a repeating thing. So firstly, I have to clear that set and also increase the count because I have to place a partition which will actually ultimately increase the number of substrings. And it's the same thing which we have to do. Ultimately, we return the number of substrings. It is a kind of greedy approach that we took. We try to maximize the because from starting itself we are starting so the starting substring I try, I try to maximize after that i had to place a bar a, 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 a partition after that i tried to again maximize let's see the next although it's space and time complexity is o of n because we're just, just iterating on this particular um array and space is o of 26 because it at max our unordered set can at max store how many characters it's 26 because it's just an alphabet in the English dictionary a b c d f g h so just o of 26 but 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 as it is using an ordered set or a hash set an array any day is faster than an unordered set although the time would for sure both will say o of n but an array will for sure be faster than an unordered set or a hash set so instead of that an ordered set or another map we can have this array because we for sure know that the size it can be see how number we have to map is just 26 characters right so i can just have this length of 26 and i'll just see the same thing and it is that i have modified you to show how see exactly you can use use an unordered uh, map also and in place of that you can also use an array also here but to modify your code to actually see okay how the other implementation can mean which means i just use two pointers kind of here that how one if i am at landing at one position i'll just see what last position had it been if i land on let's say a i'll just check okay last location of that a and what should have been that location last end last end was the last partition i put last position of a is what okay what is the last position of a if that is last position is more than equal to my last partition i am screwed up last position last partition now again i got a a i got a a last position of a let's say was here last position of a last partition done was our last end if my last position of a is more than last position of a is more than my last end and i again got a a I am screwed up. I have to put my last end now here. As simple as that. While in other case, if my last position of A is here, last position of A is here, and and 
my last partition let's say was here or let's say here my last partition was here now i'm very good again i can i don't need to have any partition because ultimately it's different from this particular because it has this partition here i have represented the same thing in here also if i have this a you have this last party uh, last position of a as zero last end is also zero which means for sure you have to place a partition in the first beginning itself you place a partition then you have this one partition your b last position of b is actually zero but the last end you actually have a which means you have a partition for sure which is at this location and you are good ultimately when you reach to this uh, next a it say okay last position of a was here last partition was also here so actually you your last position last partitions are beyond that locations so you need to place your again last partition to this particular location and thus you place your last end this last end you just updated to i plus one that partition line you will just update it is just a modification okay how just you can use see it is just an extra part although you can implement the same thing with the array itself the same thing which we saw here and it would be much easier but it is actually how other questions are done where you have to just move like this like this it is how we are moving it's just another approach for you to actually remember how the questions can be solved i'm not showing the same approach in array itself i can use the same thing in array itself but i'm showing you a different approach how you can solve the problem last but not least see same it is o of n and o of uh, 26 space because of that particular array of last positions because we know we have 26 characters o of n is still but it is faster than our unordered map or an unordered set but last but not least is the best solution which we're going to see which is still an o of n time but that o of n time is still faster than actually what we saw in array or what we saw in unordered map but it is now o of one space see although technically it is also o of one space for sure but it is legit o of one like just one not even 26 how let's see so basically what our ultimate purpose was ultimate purpose was to store ultimate purpose was to store the frequency of that character and see okay if it is repeating or not we can use the same thing for a bit how see a bit is represented by number of zeros right i can assign okay it is a it is b it is c it is d up till so on up till z i'll just as soon as i land on a i just i just set this bit now it has become one i just land on b i just set this bit ultimately next time when i land on a i just check okay if it is one which means it is already set which means my one was already there so i have to place a partition now so i'll just place a partition and again reset everything now as one is placed now so one is right here let's see how exactly the same thing is just that in place of an unordered set i just used a bit to actually store that frequency thing how see firstly i have our flag flag is actually our this whole bit is is nothing but a flag initially it, it, it will be zero 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 answer is nothing but our number of substrings and i is just to iterate on our particular array i'll just iterate on our array i'll just find the value see a number as a, a character a I'll just map it to a value 0, character B map it to a value 1, same as we did earlier also. Now, I'll check if that, if that flag is set for that value, which means if I have this A, is my A set, is my A already set? So, I'll do a 1, left shift my value, value is nothing but my A, A is converted to 0 now, every number will be converted to a 0 b will v will be converted to 1 c will be to d so 1 left shift 0 which means 1 is not left shifted any times so it will just land to here 1 left shift 1 1 is left shifted 1 times so it will land to here 1 left shifted 2 which means this particular thing it will land to here so it will just indicate me okay i just have to put a mask so that it will land to exactly the same position as c so this one left shift value will exactly land me to that particular character 
and if I do an AND operation and it comes out to be a set value which means if here is 1 the AND operation will ultimately return a 1 here I don't worry about anything here and here but it will ultimately return a 1 here which actually means the 1 was set in that particular flag which means my C had already occurred so I'll just say okay my Character had already occurred. I have to place a partition, which means my number of substrings will increase. Again, I have to reset my flag because again I have to reset my map and another set or anything, and I'm good to go. And ultimately, as we saw earlier, also, if I just move on to any character, I have to at any point of time I have to increase its frequency because ultimately, let's say I I, I got an A. So I just have to put a one here in my flag. How to put? Just the same thing. Just make a mask. Let's say if I want to place a one at this location of C. So I will just make a mask of one zero zero by using a one left shift value. Value is nothing but two. It will become something like this. Now I'll just do an OR operation to actually make flag is equals to flag or my one left shift value. One left shift value is nothing but this. OR operation will actually make my C's bit as one. So I just made that particular bit of particular value as one so that it will just indicate me that okay, that particular character has occurred. Ultimately, I just do I plus plus, ultimately, I return the answer. Its space and time complexity is nothing but O of n and O of 1, but that O of n is also faster than actually what we saw earlier. And all the codes of C++, Java and Python are below. Uh, in Python, it would be slow. Uh, hash set would be fast. Uh, in Java and C++, this will be for sure fast. So I hope that you guys liked it. If yes, then do the like button. I, I know that the video has gone a bit long, but I wanted to show you every three approaches. All three approaches are entirely different from each other but it is what will open your mind on how same question can be solved because see ultimately one day another hard question will come which will actually be using this concept of masking but here in this easy question you learn the concept of masking so it's much easier to learn the concept on easy problem rather than the hard problems is the reason i told you guys i know that i took way too long it's just a five minute question but i took 17 minutes but i guess it would be worth it if yes then let me know in the comment if it was not, if it was worth it or not. And yeah, see you in the next video. Goodbye, take care.